Thank you. I'm Jordan Hevenor, and I'm with the Woman Project. I started the Woman Project with a group of women in South County as a grassroots response to Donald Trump's election and the threat he poses to women's rights in this country. We have been organizing across Rhode Island and taken the fight to the State House to pass the Reproductive Health Care Act and protect women's reproductive rights here in Rhode Island once and for all. Now there's a lot we don't know about Donald Trump's finances and his campaign connections to Russia, but there's a lot we do know about Donald Trump the man. He's a liar, a cheat, a racist, a sexist, and a misogynist abuser of women. And there's a lot we know about Donald Trump as a leader. That he has surrounded himself with a team of bigots and Republican enablers in Congress, almost all white men by the way, who are waging a war on the poor, a war on the sick, on the disabled, a war on immigrants, on our environment, on blacks and Latinos, gays, lesbians, transgendered, and as we all know, a war on women. But the truth is that the battle lines have been drawn and we need to stand up and fight back on all fronts, not just in Washington, here in Rhode Island, the front line of the resistance is right here at the State House. <laughs> women's autonomy and women's rights are vulnerable in Rhode Island, and the leadership here at the State House is doing nothing about it. Worse than that, Speaker Mattiello and President Ruggiero are blocking a vote on the Reproductive Health Care Act, which would codify women's rights under Roe v. Wade and protect our reproduction reproductive health care decisions. Opponents say there's no reason to take action today. Opponents say women can wait until later to deal with the issue. What they don't realize is that women in this state know that they are under attack and they are sad and frustrated and scared and angry. What they, <laughs> yeah. what they need to hear from all of us is that we are the front lines of the resistance against Trump's attack on women and that we demand action on the Reproductive Health Care Act today, right now. Now I heard that Speaker Mattiello had to take the female representatives out to dinner to figure out what they wanted this legislative session. Well, the Speaker obviously wasn't listening because women want to protect Roe v. Wade. And by the way, women want to strike the unconstitutional law that requires a man be notified when his wife has an abortion. Well, the Speaker needs to hear from us. He needs to know that just because he takes women out to dinner, it doesn't mean he can have his way with them. The truth is we need to pressure all of our leaders to take action, not just Speaker Mattiello and President Ruggiero, but also Governor Raimondo. What is Governor Raimondo doing to stand up for women's rights in Rhode Island in 2017? And we need to hold our representatives and senators accountable too. Just because you think your representatives are pro-choice doesn't mean they are fighting for your rights this session. Don't ask your legislators if they are pro-choice. Don't ask them if they are supporting the Reproductive Health Care Act. Ask them if they are standing with us. Ask them if they are fighting with us to protect a woman's right to control their own body. And ask them what they are willing to put on the line in this fight. Are they willing to lose a committee seat? Are they willing to lose an election? Are they refusing to compromise our rights and our autonomy? Because if they are not, then we can replace them with people who will stand up and fight back. The truth is, reproductive justice is inseparable from social and economic issues like poverty and unemployment. Can women truly have reproductive freedom without adequate housing, without reliable transportation, without quality health care? The truth is that our reproductive rights are affected by economic equality, racism, LGBTQ rights, immigration, environmental issues. That's why women's reproductive rights are so important to the resistance against Trump. We need to stand to envision a world together 
that makes it possible to achieve the best health and well-being for all of us. We must be indivisible in creating that world. Thank you.